they gave me the title and sent me away for nine months with a sa you know, sailing instructor to edit them and make sure I explained things properly. That was Sally Kirkpatrick. And so I just had the syllabus and I put in anything else I thought might be useful, a few mad pirates. And um, my approach, although it had the kind of modern syllabus in it, my approach is quite traditional. And I think sailing is exciting and fun and the spirit of adventure. And it's just as much fun exploring a creek as racing. And that sailing can be whatever you want it to be. <clears throat> and so that every child who wants to go on the water, there's something there, a type of boat and a type of sailing that would suit them. So that's why the boat doesn't really focus too much on, you know, on speed, although there is a chapter on racing. But it's very much a beginner's book to engage their interest, to make them feel safe on the water, to make them see the potential, really. Some of those children might end up you know, sailing around the world on a, one of the challenge yachts. They might end up being an Olympic champion. They might just end up enjoying pottering with their own family. So it really was to just open the door to all the possibilities. Um, well, they're just kind of fun. and They've always got something in it for everybody. Even my dad enjoys them. They have lots of good pictures and they're always really big. When Go Sailing was done, um, I was asked then to do a puzzle book to go with it and that became the Go Sailing activity book, which was quite fun to do. And then, uh, th then we were on a roll now and then, then Go Cruising followed, um, which was really to do with how a child can be useful and in interested on a yacht which was, of course, very much my subject because having sailed, on, you know, done a lot of sailing with children on big boats, it's very much the, the parents' occupation rather than the children's, and they can get very bored. And you go to a lot of marinas and see a lot of children being bellowed at for getting in the way. And there's a lot of books for parents about how to cope with children on board, but I don't think anybody had ever addressed the children direct. And then, of course, to go cruising, needed a, an activity book so the Go Cruising activity book followed that one and that was puzzles again but I wanted puzzles that would last for the time it takes you to be gale bound in Dover when there's nothing to do and the shops are shut and the kids are bored and it's raining so I devised a board game which my son helped with and a recipe and uh, lots of things that parents are probably cursing me for because <laughs> they didn't have the ingredients or the cabin's now full of stickers <laughs> The next one was go inland. Now this was a challenge because I'd never done inland waterways. So I was sent packing with a, on a narrow boat for three days to learn, which was quite entertaining. I had to learn how to wind locks. And uh, I did a, lot of, did a bit of time on the River Thames as well. And it, that was fun to do because it was all about the history of the canals and how they came about and the art and the, and the kind of archeology span of them. So that was a whole different area as well. So that was an activity book and how-to book in one. Um, what I'd hope is that any child who reads the books gets, gets excited about the spirit of adventure, about the fact of going to the sea is as exciting and even going up a familiar creek that you've been up ten times before with a picnic is still, a, is still an exciting thing to do. And if they get that much from it and they can do it with responsibility and safety and feel inspired to, to get as much knowledge as possible about the tides and how it all works then um, if they're still excited when they're an adult, then that's a job well done. <laughs>